from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. Hello there, I'm Virginia Chow with this 10 News update. Much of San Diego County dealing with strong wind gusts as the red flag warning continues today. sdg &E has shut off power at multiple locations around the county. The San Diego County Office of Education sent out a memo saying at least five school districts will not have classes today. sdg &E says they will not turn the power back on until the fire threat ends. Extra police will be on campus at Scripps Ranch High School today in response to a threat. School officials wouldn't go into detail about what kind of threat they're investigating, but they do say they're working with campus police and San Diego police. Happening today, Border Patrol agents closing lanes at the San Isidro and Otay Mesa ports of entry as they prepare for the migrant caravan. Troops have been working on barriers in preparation for the caravan headed toward the U.S.-Mexico border. At least three northbound vehicle lanes will be closed in San Isidro and one lane will be closed in Otay Mesa. Anybody traveling northbound to the U.S. should expect possible increased wait times because of those lane closures. Today, the San Diego City Council will hold their second vote on rescinding the changes they adopted months ago on short-term rental regulations. Now, a couple months ago, the council voted to force investors, essentially, or owners of more than one home to either sell the properties or rent them out long-term, not short-term. But after Airbnb sponsored a signature drive, the council voted to remove those restrictions rather than create a ballot measure. All right, Megan, help us get through this. Yeah, we are in a red flag warning. It was extended through tomorrow evening at 5 o'clock. However, the strongest Santa Ana winds of either last week or this week arrive today through the early afternoon. We're expecting gusts of 40 to 60 miles per hour for many areas, whereas gusts could reach 70 or 80 miles per hour in some isolated spots. Alpine always one of our windier spots. That coupled with the single digit humidity levels and very dry, very, very low fuel moisture means the perfect recipe for a wildfire. A high wind warning continues for the valleys and the mountains. That's where the strongest winds will be. That is set to go until 5 o'clock today, though the strongest winds again this morning and early afternoon. Down trees and power lines, a major concern, and that's why sdg &E has shut off power to so many. Fire danger remains high through tomorrow, though the winds won't be as strong as today or as yesterday. It's still dry and breezy on Thursday, but the winds come down significantly and don't expect to see that red flag warning extended any farther. However, the sea breeze doesn't return until Friday, and that's when conditions will really improve mid 70s for most of the coast and valleys today with 50s in our mountains and highs right around 70 in our deserts. Virginia. Thank you, Megan. For the latest news, weather and traffic, just go to 10news.com or you can download our free app from the App Store. For 10 News, I'm Virginia Shaw.